Well, another episode of Jazz and Friends. Some people, well, really only one person makes the stupidest joke that it's Jazz and Bot Friends. And that Who's one, that person? Yeah, obviously. What a stupid you, joke. Who as I look to my right, I was a little concerned because I probably shouldn't have put this good-looking, handsome boy beside me, Simos and Laura together because they have this tendency to, to love to throw me under the bus. It's but just so easy, I know. though. Well, it's I do the a, truth. Because <laughs> I do a lot. And of I the, need an audience to make fun of you. Otherwise, I'm just making fun of you to you. Yeah, and then and you're that's gonna try to hurt funny. feelings. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Got Tilly. Got our boy Phenom Luke, who's making his second appearance. Big shout out to Tilly. Congrats on the upcoming twins. Yeah. How are you feeling? Like I'm brewing twins. Good. How's the alcohol? <laughs> sans. So sans I know. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Seamus, you were asking what Jazz and Friends is about, brother, um, because this is your first episode. So we decided to just chill back, relax, have some drinks. We're not yet sponsored by White Claw, but we are expecting and <laughs> Any accepting day now. Uh, sponsors. But we just sit back, relax, and shoot the shit and talk about really anything. And we kind of stay away from business because we do a lot of business and we do a lot of talking around business but obviously if i call something jazz and friends i gotta have you on you couldn't make it to the last few episodes but i'm glad that you can make it we're here now baby you were saying just before we got started that i know we said no business but i gotta find out you said you're like something going on about a tequila business or something and like i'm a tequila guy blanco specifically what's going on with the tequila stuff in mexico so this is brand like net net new two days ago i was on a business meeting (laughs) Um, you're businessing. Uh, <laughs> businessing. <laughs> Very um, serious businessing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it was serious businessing. <laughs> so I did meet one of our clients, and he's doing. He's looking to lease one of our uh, commercial listings uh, in Mimico. It's a restaurant space, 5,000 square feet. So I met his other location in Oakville, and we're talking shop, structuring an offer. <clears throat> and, he, and he also happens to own uh, a brewery, which I've known about. Um like that, we, we kind in of Mexico or here? No, a brewer, a beer brewery mm. here in okay. Markham called Amber Brewery. Mm. Mm. So Amber Brewery is it's quite popular. Uh, they have really good product. Charlie is the 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 brewer. What is it called? What's the name? Brewmaster. Brewmaster. <laughs> Look at these two fucking. We know. Girls. We Jesus know our beer. Holy We're shit! Canadiana. Throw a- anyway, so, so, so Canadiana. So, so that drunk. whole so that whole the the Balco, They're doing a white label product for Kibo. Okay. So. I'm a shareholder in the Kibo restaurants, the Japanese restaurants. We're looking to do a private label for beer. That's how that whole alcohol conversation started. Closer? Over here? <laughs> All right. Sorry. Shout out to Clyde and Bo. All right. And Shay Shay, right. who's always part of our fucking live audience. I love you, Shay Shay. You got to make an appearance. <laughs> that, that's and why friends. he's here. He's just waiting yeah, for you. Yeah, I know. Well, he's he's like, Shay Shay, he's the next love. one. Guaranteed. It's on recording. <laughs> so, so anyway, so. He's already in the beer business, and he's looking to... So the space that I'm le- looking to lease out yeah. has a big basement. And basements for restaurants are a killer because you're paying rent for stuff that's not usable. He's going to put, like, a full brewery downstairs, so like a microbrew mm-hmm. decoration, mm-hmm. but you can sell actual beer out of there. Okay. So it's of interest to him. He likes it. He's going to take the space. As Similar to what, like, Amsterdam Brewery does exactly. downtown. Got it. In, in half of that, it's not real. So at Amsterdam or wherever you see it, yeah. it's there for appearances. The beer is brewed elsewhere and brought in. Like, oh. From Amsterdam? I am so in, duped. In, in many, in, in most cases, so Amsterdam Brewery may have a real one. I don't okay. know. But 90% of restaurants or microbreweries you see, the equipment that you see inside the restaurant is not functional. Mm. It's there for a, a decor, for, for image. So he goes to me, hey, man, I just met with the, the distillers. They won three-time distiller of the year, the last uh, whatever, whatever. He goes, I'm thinking of acquiring it. Are you interested? So I'm interested what? Like, do you want to participate? Like, you know, a million restaurateurs, we could blow the shit up. I'm like, well, I'm not, not interested. Like, if you business me, I'll business you. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so long story short, we're doing a little test. Uh, we're going to put a few bucks each in. We're going to put a couple orders in. We just got a couple orders. It's going to be called Vanguard Spirits. Mm. Um, and it's going to be old bar rail. You guys should have called it Vandalay. <laughs> Why? Seinfeld. Uh, we, uh, we always make like one Vandal- Seinfeld yeah. reference. Vandalay. Like yes. Vandalay Industries. Industries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got, yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so, so 
what's happening there is he has so so the gentleman that I'm speaking about, um, let's call him R S. Mm. R S uh, used to work for Patron Ooh. Tequila. Uh, we got some Patron on the table here. During yeah. the 80s and 90s? No, and on there, over there. He, he the left the company when Patron yeah. exited at $5 billion. Okay. Like, but he was part of that team that brought Patron and tequila to the cool kids. Yeah. Tequila right now, as everybody knows, is probably the hottest on the planet. <laughs> she did a video on Stay it. humble. And Get I, like, over it. You know, like Get Elsa's videos, I scroll it. and I watch it. We'll talk about one of her videos, by the way. But there... It's not just a buzz about there's there's just something real about tequila. Right, like, right. I gotta it say, has like, nothing to do with marketing. No, I don't yeah. think so. No, I mean no. you're not so, a salesperson. You don't get any. You don't get yeah. Palamos or not. So, hey, so I will say it's year. everything to do with marketing. <laughs> but the good news. I'm aware. The, the, hey, <laughs> Jazz the, isn't aware. The great news is that it's delicious yeah. and it's probably the best liquor you could drink. Yeah, and so, it gives you no hangovers, especially if you go with the blanco. That's awesome. So, uh, some I people may lie. argue. No. I, I've <laughs> drank a lot of tequila in my days, and I've had the worst hangovers in my no life. No doubt about but. it. So you yeah. blame the tequila, but you probably had 12 shots of vodka, six brew, brews, whatever else, and then you had one shot of tequila, and then you blame the tequila the next day. Mm-hmm. Go the, Just do one full night of tequila, and you won't have the hangover. And if you do, I will give you... A thousand three hundred thousand dollars. No, a thousand. Three hundred thousand. That's nonsense. I hate tequila that much. It has to be worth more than a thousand. Like that's how much I find it repulsive. Unless wow. it's in a margarita, that's different. I okay. think it's because you're actually rich. <laughs> and unless it's a thousand bucks. <laughs> it's not worth this isn't worth my time. <laughs> Ten bucks? Ten bucks? Okay, go finish it off. Uh so this guy has a tequila background. Yeah. Liquor background, beer background. <laughs> Gives me a lot of confidence to make a move with him. Uh, he's connected in Jalesco, Mexico, which is the city of tequila. Uh, I guess it's close to Mexico City. I've never heard of Jalesco before until he told me. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. Is it Jalesco? Because yeah. it's a J, but yeah. whatever. Jalesco. <sighs> Not again. Jazz. Not no. again. Please. <laughs> no. Lord. What? He's gonna start pretending he's Mexican or Russian. Zdrast with you or Scarface impressions. <laughs> oh no! Don't get me started. So we, we, uh, I'll one more to I'll finish the story. <laughs> yes, finish the story. <laughs> Bottom line is he has mad connects to five year, excellent, best of the best love. That's gonna get bottled at an incredible price <laughs> yeah. and be able to undercut the market here. Hopefully, depending on transport costs. But that tequila is gonna be called. It's not. Will be. It is gonna be branded as Day of the Dead Tequila, huh. premium tequila. Like okay. Wait a minute. The name Day of the Dead Tequila doesn't already exist. No. You guys are shitting me. I'm not shitting you. And like we even in even in like <coughs> Spanish. How is this even possible? Just relax. We own it. <laughs> Day of December. the Dead Tequila is not a tequila. <laughs> It's only the name of every restaurant. Can somebody Google it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. This is net I new mean, to me. I mean, if you can get the title, you can get yeah. it. Well, he's got the website. He's got the bar. Perfect. I hope to God he yeah. has Let me guess. It's a finger. skull. It is a skull. Oh, shocker. <laughs> <laughs> the sugar skull, I think, is what they're called. The sugar skull painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in the shape of a skull. Yeah, like a day sure. of the dead. It's a day of the dead. Yeah. Um, and here in Canada, so Vanguard is going to be a premium Bar rail line, okay. so it's gonna it's meant to replace entry level um, vodka. Yeah, like the Jose the Jose Cover, uh, Co- Covero or whatever you don't need it's to called. Speak yeah. of anyone. Jose no, Cover no, no. Or it's or great, I'm but sure, I mean, it's sure a bar. It's bar rail, <coughs> but yeah. they suck. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's supposed to be a, b- a better alcohol. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> for even less than the entry product. Got it. And that's how they're looking. To, uh, that's gonna be the business plan. Again, I'm not taking uh, any big pieces or anything. Sure, but I will be involved. I'm gonna try to. You're so my... fascinating. You yeah. do everything. It's He's always up to shit. Strategic. I never know what the fuck you're up to. Yeah. Hey. And Caskers? it's fantastic. Is that the brand Caskers? No. There's a few other people saying do it of the dead tequila. Interesting. To, to Elto's point. There you have it. There you have Get it. Get our branding people on it. Stat. Stat. You had a, a cool achievement that you hit this week, Laura. You had a million views on a TikTok. I mean, no big deal. It's only yeah. like the MVP. most amazing thing that's ever happened in my whole life. Talk about it. And by that, I mean nothing's changed. It's exactly yeah, the same. I was about to ask you that next. Like, what's changed? Nothing. Nothing. I was like, this is going to be so cool. And then it happened. I was like, oh. So just go back to my regular shitty life. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's ironic, I think, more so is that <sighs> what you think is going to pop never pops. Yeah. And the thing that what you. What should pop. What should pop. pop. Anything that's, like, good, well thought out, funny, or, like, scripted, good editing. None of that ever works. Yeah. 
it was a off the cuff phone in my car. I heard this thing about white toenail polish. I do an impromptu video in my car. And that is the video that apparently everyone is obsessed about. And what's wild is that it took a month to get like, there. To, it, no, yeah. no, it, it took a month to get out of like a thousand, two thousand views, and yeah. then all of a sudden, every single day, we're like ten thousand extra views, a hundred thousand yeah. views. I like, would go out like away for a weekend, and then I would come back three hundred thousand views yeah. later, and then and then it gets slow again, and, and up then and it down starts and going yeah. up again. And you're like. I can't keep up. And it's just like, what? And what I it? pride so myself on getting back to comments. And at one point, I was like, I threw my hands up in the air. Well, you got too cool for them. I got too cool you for the comments. You got too cool for purpose, the comments. But like. <laughs> She's rich and cool. Holy <laughs> shit. I, I'm neither of those things. Um, <laughs> sadly. But um, I there was just so much. And it was a lot of like people hating on the video. Oh, yeah. What but was I was like. About? What was the hate about? The hate Because the point of the video is to say that there's a group of people who said white, if you put white toenail polish on, there's a hidden meaning behind it. And like, you know, like these things like sometimes have like a place in history. Like if you wore red lipstick, that meant like you were a prostitute or something yeah. like that. Right. Like sometimes these things do have legs, but they're just not meaningful now. This. Did you know any of this? I did not. I, but I used to wear red lipstick and but, I was a prostitute. Right. So there, well, there right. you go. Was I that think the not. Young and Dundas area? Or yeah, which okay. 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 Yeah. And Harvey's. what were your rates? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are your rates Ten dollars what I'm wondering. Where did you come from? <laughs> I was just, Where have you been? <laughs> I was just waiting for my entry. <laughs> well, you're here waiting. now. <laughs> he's curious about it. So he's like, so what were your rates? <laughs> you're going to buy me tonight? I got to check to make sure I got enough. <laughs> you can afford me. I'm a cheap home. <laughs> well, I can't wait for the fact that you two are going to go on stage together. I'm really actually excited. Only because... I'm going to be able to, like, it's not something that I'm I'm away for. I'm actually going to be in the room to see you two on stage. It's actually going to be really cool to see. Are you are you excited? You got you I'm got excited. maybe a thousand people on fucking in the audience, bro. I'm excited because I can <laughs> say I co-spoke in a way with Shaquille O'Neal. That right there. All right. That right there. All see, right. that's a spin. See, positioning. See? See? Blanco tequila. You have to take a picture <laughs> with Shaq. really helping. And just be like, see? Yeah, yeah, my man. Be. No hangover. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm excited for that. That's awesome. Zebos? I'm super excited always to yeah. present. Oh, yeah. And to be with um, our young gun is just makes me so happy. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm, I'm, like, again, like I'm going to use this for sure for <coughs> positioning. Yeah. The the crowd there, most of the, the actual crowd that matters to us knows us. Yeah. Uh, so this has very little pressure on our organization, and it's going to be a good way to actually further establish our young guns positioning in the company where he you become more and more of an authority and speaking voice for REC. So that makes me proud. Well, and he grew out that little chin stash. Yeah, what is going on with that? So I he's, like it, he's a I man now. I like it. I'm not sure. You guys are mean. I What's just forgot on? to shave. No, it Pardon? looks great. Forgot to shave. No, it looks But you shave on, on the mustache. No? I do not. Okay. I'm joking. I so do. you're not growing anything. Okay. But I, I called it a chin stack. But can we acknowledge <laughs> that that was probably the nicest thing Simos has ever said about me? And that's going to um, be the last. Yeah, and yeah. that will be yeah. the last. No, he'll say some <laughs> nice things. <laughs> he'll say some nice things on stage as well. Don't worry. Yeah. And they'll be lies. Just for the image. Mm -hmm. Just because Shaquille O'Neal's there. And he's bigger than him. <laughs> the only person I would actually, actually fear <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> He, yeah. he would step on me. <laughs> yeah. I really want to give him a hug. We were talking about Mexico City, and that made me think... Um, a lot of us are starting to travel. You've never been to Mexico City, you said. I have never been to Mexico City. You've been? I've been. Yeah. I'm dying Mexico to, go to Mexico City. Mexico City. Mexico. Mexico City for a second. No? No. Tilly? <laughs> what is some of your favorite places that you guys have traveled? Because I know we have a lot of traveling coming up. You're going to Calgary soon? I well, that's not it. <laughs> no, obviously. I, I got, <laughs> hey, I got New Jersey <laughs> in the New first Jersey? week of September, and then Calgary the and third week of September. Are you lucky? <laughs> Winnipeg is on the list, too. <laughs> You got Dubai coming up. I do have Dubai coming up. You have up. Dubai coming up. You guys doing any traveling anytime soon? Nope. Okay, so recently um, you've been to Mexico. Was that your first time going? That was my first time in Mexico. Yeah, what did you think, May. bro? Like, what did you... It was like, and, and serious question, was that your first time out of Canada? No, I'm just making sure, bro. Like Jazz, you, you sent brother. him on trips, dude. I, I just sent him on fucking I, trips, haven't I? I represented like our many. company in two trips My last bad. year. <laughs> I forget. See, now you know how much I love you. I don't even remember these things. Yeah. Um, that you don't even remember. Favorite places to travel that you've traveled before? Mykonos was sick. Yeah. 
Make is it because the Greek guy's... I think so. He knows he'd get stepped on if he... Because we have a Greek it. fucking guy here. Tell me anyway. popcorn. Why Mykonos? Mykonos was sick <laughs> because that was when I was being a little bit degenerate. Was that one of the trips that, that we sent you trip. on? Okay, continue. That was with the emblem. Yeah. That was in my six months of being a degenerate. <laughs> yes. What do you oh, because you, you don't drink. Because I don't drink. And you never drank before that trip? No. So but your you, first drink was in Mykonos. But you did drink there? I did drink. There. I did not know this. Yeah. Jazz told me prior to the trip, <laughs> I don't drink before I boarded on the plane. He's I like, have so many questions. You got to be careful. <laughs> yeah, Jazz is like, what did I say before he you said, boarded the plane? The, the day before, the night before I went on the trip, he was like, he called me. He's like, don't forget, have fun, but you're representing us. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. The next day, it's 5 a.m. I'm damn near sleeping on the street, trying to find my way back to the hotel, <laughs> drunk with a broken glass in my hand and a cut across my hand. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly what Jazz warned me about. We've all been there. Yeah. And this was the first time. I will never tell you that you made I've, me proud. I've drank prior, but I've never been that slammed, ever. And it was crazy. So Good what else you. did you like about Mykonos, though? Like, why that was that your favorite trip? It opens your eyes to the realities that's out there. Like, you see all of these people. Like, we were spending, I'll give you an example, Right. Emblem would be spending 10, 15, 20 grand on a table every single night. But there are other tables spending just as much, if not more. Mm. So then it made me realize, I'm like, whoa, like this is, like we don't know this is happening and it's on a regular basis. Sometimes it would be on a Tuesday night. Mm. It's like on a Tuesday night in Toronto, we're all sleeping early. Yeah. She's sleeping at 8.30 p.m. Hey. So we can go to work the next I have day. a fruitful life. <laughs> There in Mykonos, it's 6 a.m. Correct them, say it's 8.15. It's 6 a.m. and there's still a lineup 14. outside to get inside the club. 6 a.m. Yeah. So so what I will say is I'll, I'll maybe break that. Is that your favorite place to uh, travel back home? Uh, well, I mean, I'm Greek, so I like, I'm a little no, but, biased. But not going back home home, not like to the northern part. So so Athens makes Mykonos look like child's play. Okay. I heard, I heard Mi- that too. Mykonos is amazing for tourists. Yeah. And like you had the realization that you did, but it's true. Hmm. It, what you see in Mykonos is, which is a global playground, you see what money actually is. Mm. You may think you've seen money, but when you're sitting next to a sheikh, yeah, or a prince, mm. yeah, like they don't have you're money. You're sitting next to a. They, you know you're sitting next to a prince now. The, she the princess. You know what I? She the, the prince of Punjab. The, the prince of Punjab. Is I right think here. there's something interesting where you're you're in a place where you have, but you're hanging with the have yachts. So the have and the have yachts. No, no, like yeah. and it's just like. But whoa. the have yeah. yachts, like to put into perspective, it's not like they have a bank account. Yeah. They have a country. No. Yeah. <laughs> so so like they actually own it. It's not like a government representative or uh, the cachet of a, of a delegate. Mm. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm the delegate of yeah. Austria. And I have you. this much money no, to yeah. spend. No. Yeah. Uh, I own the wells of that part of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's that, that there is mine. Yeah. So yeah, you can yeah, charge yeah. me yeah. a million per hour, yeah. per minute. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm curious about when we're so, going to Dubai for a training. I'm curious to see that the oil owners so, yeah. so fuck yeah so, so you will see it in, in in what you don't see like north america doesn't have the age like you yeah. can find all the money in the states there's yeah. multi-billionaires yeah but what what he's referring to like it's hard not to realize it because right next door you're you're sitting down with your friend who owns who works at the construction company yeah. down the street he's partying at seven o'clock in the morning the same yeah the same with the Prince of Persia yeah, yeah. next to him. <laughs> yeah, 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 Literally, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so yeah, it's, cool. it's mind blowing. Like, I grew up with it. So yeah. coming to Canada was just like, how is everything so slow here? Yeah. Like, nothing exists. Like, the government the government downtown, I'm not talking about the government like in Ottawa, the government like on Queen's Key, downtown Toronto, the Queens club Park. is a little yeah. different. Yeah, Queen's Park? Park. Queen, is it cr- not Queen's Park. No, I'm talking about Queen's Key. Like, no, oh, no. the government the club. The club. The club. That's a little yes. different oh than I. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yes. You mean Chris like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, the opposite. The opposite. The opposite. <laughs> what are your place, uh, favorite places that you travel, my girl? Uh, favorite place, I think, would be Japan. Ooh. Mm. I so never knew I you went, went to Japan. Uh, when? Um, so I went two months after Fukushima. Okay. My brother lives there. Yeah. So I. All right, he still lives there. Yeah, he still yes. lives there. Yep. Um, and then I went again with my husband in 2018. And if anything, I actually think. When was Fukushima? 2012? 2011. 2011. 2011. So it happened in February, March, and that May. 
Okay. I flew wow. out. Oh, but wow. I stayed in Tokyo because that's where my brother stayed. And like the first time I was there for a month and of course he's just like, here's my card, just do everything, like go explore everything, go get lost. And he did get me lost and I cried. And then I'm like, <laughs> I gotta figure it out. <laughs> like I gotta figure it out. Like our subway stops, <laughs> like, you know, when you leave your subway, it's like you have north, south, yeah, east, west. You know what street west. you're coming out on, yeah. Every station has like 40 exits to like 40 different spots in the city. And you're like, I hope to God I chose the right one. Yeah. Hope to God. <laughs> Uh, but the people second awesome. Time, people are amazing. Yeah, honestly, like the that's one a thing spot I, I want to go to. Yeah, me yeah. too. It's, on, it's high on my list. Like, yeah. mind high, you, like high, high. High. Tokyo no, no. and like proper, like proper Tokyo, um, very touristy, obviously, sure. very, very touristy. But if you ever have the opportunity to leave the city and not like go to Kyoto and other big cities, my brother took Keegan and I uh, camping. We went and rented a car the smallest fucking Toyota and I can't believe two six foot five six foot four guys and myself fit in it hmm. uh, we had a two person tent so that's the three of us sleeping in this fucking two person tent did the tent. tent fit you guys? <laughs> I don't know I don't six know how four? it happened it, we, we slept <laughs> they were in it toe. yeah so it's like we were all literally packed like sardines but it's <laughs> Japan you figured it out but the fact that we got to go and just go camping go through like the southern eastern part of like japan like the main island because there's multiple islands you know it's amazing just being there just absorbing the culture food amazing is it like major it's obviously not just like all sushi like what other stuff it's did actually you eat not there? huge on sushi really like sushi's really expensive okay so it's like your california rolls and all, that doesn't exist okay in japan. that's a that's a that's a an american no. thing yeah. it's a california thing yeah 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 yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. The beef. i got it let's put cream cheese in yeah. <laughs> yeah. no no but honestly like all the food <laughs> is super fresh yeah one thing i thought was very interesting ladies get a separate menu Okay. What so that? it's like ladies, ladies get a separate menu. Mm -hmm. So it's like let's say we <laughs> me and you ordered the exact same thing. I get a smaller portion. Of course it's a little bit cheaper, but it's like they just assume ladies eat eat less. A little bit less. And then they I don't know if I'm match. offended or I, amazed and like that's a great smart? idea. I don't know. Right? Like I'm like, like I think it's our How western, do you take that? our western brand. Well, what like, if you wanted to order? Could you order? Say, I probably. want the men's. Uh, I, I don't want anybody to prepare. <laughs> Interpret it. Yeah. Is it sexist or is it the right <laughs> thing? Let me comment. Why? Colin, I want to hear it. I'm glad that they want them to eat less. <laughs> <laughs> For my own enjoyment. <laughs> For your own selfish reasons. He also has to order from the women's <laughs> menu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, over there. I mean, that's after yeah, he looked at the kids' oh menu. Yeah, I mean, that's like you know how to put a show together. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to put a show together. I don't know, man. I'm still trying to figure out if I should. No, I don't think we're gonna air this one. Before. I don't think this is gonna before air. all of this. You warned me not to say that. To <laughs> no, the I, no, I did not warn you. All I said is just at least dial it back, fucking five percent. No, uh, maybe ten. Ten. But no, you started it, so I, I have to love it. Started. He said, "I'm but happy." That was with great. Eat that less. was great. He should be eating from. I agree. The kids menu. I think it should be based <laughs> off of your height. <laughs> 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 then we'd all be eating from the Not same your menu. <laughs> <laughs> Not your girth. <laughs> now, now who, who pushed the envelope now? <laughs> Which girth? Um, Jesus. Alto, yours? So far. <laughs> favorite spot. My favorite trip I've ever been on was to Argentina. Okay. Um, I did but you I see Messi? I, did, I tried. Okay. But to know... Not that um, what Buenos Aires like what, that was an okay city, mm. but what I did in terms of like I went to a ranch and like did gaucho horseback riding and stuff like so, that. That sorry. was the coolest experience. I've heard that they have by far the best meat. Uh, accurate and okay. it costs nothing. You can go to yeah. the fanciest steakhouse and live like a real prince, and then they're like, "That's a hundred dollars," and I'm like, "No, Facts. but I but." Like I got more than just no hundred bucks for what though you mean like the everything God, every and their wine is cheap everything's so cheap is this at the it, wine is so good. is that in the ranch area you're talking about or no, in, the that's city? in the city oh wow city. that's you, dirt you, you cheap live, getting there is not cheap like, yeah Chile, but once you're there I thought they had some inflation a, problems Chile, Chile and Argentina more. have incredible wines. yeah of course they have yeah. inflation a very problems. good organic yeah. Malbec. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. gosh. Wine wise, funny we stayed at the same hotel. Yeah. What was that called? I don't know, but it was the was one that another I, fucking build, builder strip we yeah. sent yes. you on? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same, same builder? No, La, La Faina. Oh, it was La Faina Hotel. Pretty big trip, right? Same, same La yes. Faina Hotel? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're pretty nerdy um, seals between the two of us. Look at the fucking trips we sent these guys to. 
Anyways, continue. I need to go but I will more. say overall though, best country, like best country from start to finish, I think is France. Wow. I know, Clyde. I, I didn't actually oh, say that God. for you. Didn't you eat like a bird or some shit? One I day? ate pigeon. That was awful. Yeah. I had a. Why would you say it's awful? It's not. A, it's pigeon. It's not a bird. You didn't eat a bird. Uh, it's a bird for a meal. What's okay. a pigeon? Was it like, turkey then? Huh? It was disgusting. They put a claw on my plate with its <laughs> nails. Yeah, I'm not into that. Or talent like yeah, like, yeah, like this. Into that. No, but you. but I'm not even oh, talking the crazy food. Shit. I just think I can't France eat, like, from like, top to bottom is so cool. Like, Isn't there a bird that you have to, if you want to eat, you have to eat it with like something covering your head because it's so in France or somewhere else? I Clyde, think it's like it's a specific type of poultry that it's like. It's yes, like but I think that's like a, in, in Asia. You yeah. eaten it before? I've eaten yes. Pigeon my Where? Whole life. Is that like a, that's not a Greek? Maybe not Greek here in Canada. Of course it is. That's a Greek thing. Yeah. Fucking Greeks, man. Okay, well, love you, Cornish guys. hen, which is like a better. Chicken. A hen is not a pigeon, though. No, it's not. But a pigeon, a farmed pigeon, is delicious. It was not delicious. It was frightening. And I hated it. Okay. But I still love France. <laughs> no. He's never eaten it and he lived there. So see, I think you can go too authentic. And I also, yeah. um, Anthony Bourdain went to, to Paris and then he did like a seafood tower and like he got all the, and I did that too. And I, I was like, you know seafood what? Tower, seafood no, tower. Seafood tower. There's a like, place. Like, like I went no, to poke the thing out and it fought back. Like I was like, there's a place in Scarborough. You're still alive. There's a place in Scarborough. Like We're going to go. Okay, they have seafood tower. Did it's you say Scarborough? Hundred percent. Oh, the Mark, one on Kennedy. I was warned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was warned about there. Scarborough. How, how good there. is that? <laughs> oh yeah, it's bro. Fire. I've fire. been there a couple of times. Best it, fucking. Yo, and the French fries um, are actually good. Captain something. Diana no, no, seafood. No, no, no. Uh, Fisherman no. lobster house. Fisherman. Fisherman's lobster house. Yeah. Big shout out to Fisherman. Fisherman's lobster. Fisherman. Fisherman. No, I think it's not Fisherman. Is it, is it Fisherman? Fish? I don't know. Ah, it doesn't matter. So I'm Kennedy. And the fucking tower is this big, Seamus. Yeah, yeah. It's how crazy. Much? How much? Anyone who much? doesn't like that is it's, weird. It's expensive. Um, well, how much? The the tower's probably 100 bucks, 80 bucks. Like, to, to feed, like, two, three people might cost you, like, 200 yeah. bucks. Yeah. No, we're going to go. But, like, it's proper. King Pro- crab. Pro- yeah, scallop. Fishman. Crab. Scallop. Fishman. 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 They forgot. Uh, Restaurant. The translation didn't quite... <laughs> <laughs> it's called Translate. Fishman. It's yeah, it's Fishman. Fishmen. Okay. Yeah, lobster oh, clubhouse. Well, because that's and the, the real pictures word. Yeah. slap. I okay, I just want to. I just. I just want to slay some seafood right now. Okay, all right. Like right now. So we're gonna set it up, real soon. No, like, I'm tempted. Get that right garlic butter ready. <laughs> like now. You guys were right talking meow. on the side, talking about Japan's on the list. So you can't really see say that now. But what is the on, the, on the the wish to the like the the wish list of going? Where you haven't been before. So you can't say Japan because you kind of said it already. Give me another one. Go ahead, Toe. So I want to see the northern lights. Mm. Like Alaska? like Alaska. So Iceland? I think you can see them in a couple different places, but like in Iceland. Can I would you like sometimes see that, see that here? A port, like in some port. northern Canada, yeah. Yeah, northern, like northern Quebec has crazy things. Yeah. Okay. But where's like the spot? Alaska? So, yeah, the northern provinces, because yep. it's like it reacts. It's a chemical reaction in the atmosphere is why we get the green. And it's all based on like solar flares. Mm-hmm. And it, it happens more often in the northern hemisphere. But sometimes like I remember seeing it in Mississauga and my dad tripped me out. He's like, the world is ending. Yeah. And I'm like crying. And my yeah. mom's like, no, I want to see it like at those proper places, yeah. like yeah. wherever like, that is. Like, and so I'm not right saying a country right. or a place, I'm, but uh, something I want to do. It's cool. Like that just reminded me of a story that I do want to hear f- from everyone else about 15 years ago i think it was called poseidon if i remember properly we had to drive up about an hour and a half two hours north of like Caledon, and it was within a four hour period you know uh, my boy navraj bobby navraj bobby navraj he told me about it and he's like we're about to see a literally we're about to see about a thousand shooting stars i was like what do you mean he's like watch so we drove two hours. This was only happening in a five-hour window, and we saw a thousand shooting stars. That's wow. incredible. That's incredible. Really cool. Like, one of That's the most like incredible. A shower type thing? I don't know what. Like, it was one of those things. Like, I, 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 I'm sure the name was Poseidon. It's kind of like our eclipse that came I remember up. that. Yeah, that was like, like eight years, years ago. Once no, no, no. This was him and I were probably, I know, kids. Like, uh, this was probably about 15, 20 years ago. Oh, That's wow. when you guys were dating. Um, um. So then what happened is, <laughs> is that, is that. That was your it, first boyfriend. Yeah. Well, I mean, we his, he didn't come up with his rates yet. He didn't come up with his rates yet. Before my rates. All right. So, um, and so anyways, <laughs> that was one of the coolest things. You know, Alto said 
Northern Lights that made me think of it. So wherever that is, Simos, your thoughts? Um, well, my favorite place uh, I have been to. No, not that you want to go to. That I want to yeah, go to. Yeah, that you haven't been on been to yet. There's too many because the last decade I have. Sometimes I wanted to. The other times I had to go back home to Greece so much. Uh, I haven't done the Italy trip that I want to do. Mm. I haven't done France, which is ridiculous because I've been done Portugal two, three times. We were just in Barca, well, Portugal. Spain. But like, shout out to wifey. Uh, shout out to, to, to my wife in Portugal, which is phenomenal. The Azores is something to be mm. seen. Like mm. it looks That's on like, my list too. Do you guys remember the show Lost? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That was it, filmed there? Uh, no, it was not. Oh. It, but, but it was <laughs> no, but, but, no, but go, going, to, going to that, that was filmed in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. And it looks like Hawaii. Oh. Anybody who's been to Hawaii says, oh my God, it looks like Hawaii. It's this subtropical, mysterious landscape. You went there four or five years ago. Uh, in the middle the of the resorts. ocean, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like in, it's the in the middle, middle of, of the Atlantic. Yeah. And like the hydrangeas. Is that where Ronaldo's from? No, Ronaldo's not from there. He's from like a small He's from the island. Azores island called Madeira. That's it. But but this is the, but this is the hydrangeas were like literally this big, so it's like a hydrangea that you see here is like this the flower, mm. beautiful flower. There yes. is like this. There's a there's like memes about hydrangeas mm. on like TikTok. What is it? Just about? search like hydrangeas and like people showcasing their hydrangeas. Like because you got to do the scene to get a mil views. Uh, well, uh, what's, it might what's work. outside Boston that water? Boston. Place. The harbor. Boston harbor. Such a tool. I was there last year, and I can't remember it. <laughs> Maine? Boston. No. No. Newport. Newport. Newport? Connecticut? New England? Newport. No, not Connecticut. Yeah. Um, and the hydrangeas in Newport are incredible. But maybe they're not as incredible Kay. as the Azores. So, so I'm this just place here, we had a great 24-hour Boston trip one day. Yes, we did. <laughs> one day. <laughs> the best fucking 24-hour trip It was a lot. Life. It was a lot. Yeah. Did we do it even 24? I think we came back in 23 hours. It was a lot. A lot. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah. And that will just stay a right lot. there. <laughs> um, but this place, is it has this mysterious vibe to it. And what I mean by that is the food, like, first of all, it's cheap because it's underdeveloped. Um, it's gorgeous, but, like, because it's getting more popular, like, you can see it yeah. on the rise. But it reminds me of Greece in the early 90s. Uh, so we should all go before it gets ruined. A hundred percent. Be a part of the movement that ruined it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so you still no, got to tell me no, where you want to go. No, but that, you will get, oh. you will He's get been true, there. Like, I want to know where you want to go, homie. So, <sighs> can't do it. Okay, can't do so it I want, so my, my, He wants to go the, back to places. I want to come back. I want to go to Paris. Okay. You've I never been to Paris? I have never oh been to Paris. I want to go to Paris. So he's going to be there in a couple of weeks. Mon Dieu. So I want to do Paris maybe for New Year's. Hmm. It's my wife's birthday on New Year's, Ooh. so I'm thinking that little getaway. Love. Um, so I'm thinking Paris, uh, Italy, and I'm off to Asia and Africa. Like I will not go back to Greece to my homeland. Yes, and before, tell you before I hit. Oh, I have to do Africa African safari. Or has to be done. And, and you, but if you go to the one, so it's 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 um about forty five. It's about an hour away. African, African lion safari. safari. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tilly, uh, uh, where is that Same small for you? Like Africa, for example, has like we have this. I shouldn't no, say obviously, all. I'm thinking safari, but there's like you go to different places and then yeah. you see the gorillas and then you go to but amazing Africa cities and then like you see one of the most massive continents. Yeah, so and we treat it as like, one as Africa. Yeah, like it's a like it's ignorant. Yeah, it's built in. Ig- like I, I'm speaking for myself. I'm well aware others. it's not. No, I actually, wise. you know, I actually used to know a lot about Africa because the risk board. So I, and I'm not just fucking around. I know you think I'm joking around. Like I knew how much well, like it's Ethiopia, for example, hundred percent further from Somalia, Kenya. like Rexdale. Yeah. Like Rexdale like has really a lot of Somalians. Like you know, you get to know their culture. You know the, the so difference. Because Ethiopia, so our girl Christiane is from Ethiopia. So hmm. the more now that again, like I when I grew up in Greece, I didn't know a single African, right. not one, right, not one. The first African I ever saw was a Nigerian salesman when I was like 13. Mm. And this is me growing up in the capital of the Northwest in Greece. When I came to Canada, obviously it's a diverse country. Very different. Yeah. And I, I have, I'm going to say, dozens of actually pretty close African friends. Yeah. Like not acquaintances, like people who are in my life. Yeah. Kenyans from West Africa. Ethiopians and Djibouti from East Africa. 
northern africans all the people from the north coast like there's so many that we know and interact with every day but you never or again not you never i shouldn't generalize i never think of africa as an option for my travel yeah which has been a mistake yeah. well it's, a, it's long on, to get there yeah my and once you're there it, and i think but people think once you're there you have to do the whole thing i think that's the problem because like the problem it's like they're different trips. It's like when you go to France, that's a different trip than Italy. But Why do we think it has to be the same trip? Be, because it's so it's an exotic something we're not used to. Yeah. So you view it that way. Yeah, my brother and sister in law just what I think. They anyway. just came back from Africa <clears throat> maybe I don't know, a couple of months ago and she was telling me, she's like, Run outside her house in the backyard, whatever it was, having coffee and four elephants. What? Just walk right by. I can't. Like I want it. That would make it. me like, cry. Like, I think like, I could die. I yeah, and, and fucking be Clyde, happy. die happy. Fucking Clyde and I are driving to uh, somewhere to shoot something, and he's telling me he's been to like two safaris in his life, like his dad and his mom, right? Like you, they used to take you around. That's sick. His family's from South Africa. See? That's what it is. Like, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Another rag watch. Hey, hey, Laura, another vacation. Laura, Laura, another vacation. You must be French. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm from France. I can go to South Africa. <laughs> and I'm going to Paris next week. I don't eat pigeon. That's, That's only for you. I'm going to Paris next week. <laughs> that was a good one. Where you, where, where's Did you the... put more? Yes. But how good is it? I when mean, you, when you okay, so tomorrow, take a big sip so this coming weekend, this coming, water so this coming water. weekend, this coming weekend, I, me. this is the coming weekend. Him and I are going to be drinking, probably for seventy-two hours straight. We'll go to sleep in between. Ray, Ray, Ray. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've hung out with you guys long enough. Where are you guys traveling to? Oh fuck Don't it, say bro. It. Don't say it. But we can't tell everybody where we're going. We'll just run into him. I know. Mm. Mm. Are you guys staying in the city? We're not going to Paris. We're not going to. <laughs> Or Bless where you. is it? Uh, Collingwood. I mean, <laughs> I said Creamore. Is that where you're going, Colin? Um, Collingwood, Africa. It doesn't really matter where we're going. We're together. <laughs> we're going. We're together. Hey, that's we're the down. That's, that's the most going. important thing. We're going down. Our wives will you, be very you got, happy with us. You yeah. guys are coming back semi-divorced. Um, always. Always. Yeah. Well, look. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone's going to be happy. Simos and I are going to be in the backyard on the grill. And we're going to do our thing. Tilly, where is that? Like, what's the top on the wish list? Um, two places. I definitely want to do Italy because, like, my love for carbs and good <laughs> wine. Carbs. Like, I'm not even saying, like, pasta, <laughs> bread, pizza. Pizza. So what bread. are the other carbs? No, she just loves, I just she love just loves the carbs. I just, All of them. Like, I just literally want to eat myself Fat. Into a coma. But you will because now you have two boys or girls. I know. They're like gonna eat it up. I know. So you get there, eat it I up. I know. Yeah, this you should go there pregnant, actually. Yeah. Oh Mind you, you can't have some of the cheese, probably, or or do it because. Honestly, when like I Rome, can just see myself literally. like arriving with like a big belly, and I could see all of like the nonnas coming out and just. Are you like, going? I was supposed to go. Like oh. we were planning like a huge family trip, and then. This was like years ago, um, and then we had to put that on the back burner because I got pregnant the first time, and now we're pregnant the second time. So how old's <laughs> your first child? She is eighteen months. Oh. Yep. Yeah, but the the, the, the next two are not the <laughs> next two. Are her? Not, the next two are not due. It's for gonna be six, okay. Seven. It's gonna yes. Yeah, but Bridget. Only three kids under when three they arrive. Yeah. So my first I'm thought is like I'm getting sweaty. Yeah, like my first like fear is like. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, She's gonna, like, because they're they're due at the same time of Bridget's birthday, so I'm I'm literally gonna have like three three under two. You'll figure it out. Honestly, my my first thought is or like, not. I'm not the first. I'm Same not the last. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm not the first. I'm not the last. I have this thing called YouTube and Google. Yeah. Right. There's nothing With to figure GPT out. You know, now. Figure Chat, out you should totally utilize Chat GPT. Oh my god. Not Chat GPT, Lore. Chat GPT. 4-0. Get Jazz to help you on prompts. <laughs> yeah. No, he's going to build you out like a whole sketch. Yeah. Like, I, you know what? It would be awesome if I could have... Hang on one sec. Why are you being so nice and not throw, trying to throw me under the bus? Oh, it's coming. Just that? wait. Yeah, she's is waiting. It? For is it all the bags and shit that you bought? So now... Is no, it's that fucked up eye of yours. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. That's fired. <laughs> That's fired. <laughs> Feel free to... Just put us in our place. <laughs> Sorry, Tilly. Continue. I got so Italy. Italy's your thing. Italy's yeah, your thing. It, it All right. It is my thing. And um, 
I'm European and I've always wanted to go to Italy. It's just that like anytime we went to Europe, it's just going back home, yeah. going back home to Poland yeah. yep. and or surrounding for everyone. Uh, countries. Because, you know, you start drinking in one country, you wake up the next day in the next. And yeah. you're like, how the hell did this happen? Done, done it. Yes. What's this yeah, bottle of there. absinthe doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like absinthe. real absinthe, <laughs> not, the, not the absinthe oh. you buy here. The no, fake no. absinthe. Oh, Montreal? <laughs> and that green, toxic absinthe? Fuck, that was, was fake that. absinthe. Though. No, it was not. No? The Quebecers take great pride in their poison. Uh, yeah. yeah, fair. Poison. on me, you and see, uh, Simon? Yes. Uh, it was smoking and shit. It was smoking, right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. Like it's like, yeah. 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 Fuck. Yeah. Phenom for you, brother? I wouldn't go now, but. Can't be Philippine. Like, you're not going to say Philippine. Oh, I've been there many times. Okay. The but thriller from Manila. <laughs> yeah. I would wait until the war is over, and I would want to go to Israel. Mm. Why? Mm. Want to go to Israel. Yes. Why? Because then I get to feel and experience the book that I read every day. Are you Jewish? No, I'm Christian. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Christian. Sorry. Yeah. You do strike me as Jewish a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe with the way I deal with money. Or Maybe. Yeah. Because you're so good at it. You're so why? <laughs> why? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, every time she yeah. goes to the Venus. Why did she go for the Venus? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of history. That's like I never OG Israel. Yeah, 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 brother. Yeah, yeah. That's like a good one. The history, OG history. Yeah, everything. Yeah, hundred. And that's also Straight why it's like if I had the money, like let's say waving a, a flag, a flag, magic waving wand. a magic wand, I would love to go to all of the like historic sites. Anywhere, like like anywhere. the pyramids and like all that kind pyramids, of stuff. Yeah. Oh, you guys um, the pyramids. Fuck. No, Sorry? but like That's even another in like African trip. England and France, like where World War II Very sites different. were, and yeah, now yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, just yeah, big yeah. fields. Sorry. Just to go through the history, to live through the history of those. Well, it's like events. even just like standing where, let's say, uh, forget D Day, V Day, D Day, D Day, D Day. No, storming the Normandy beach, for instance, That's and you're on the beach, and you're thinking you're like it's a calm beach, but then you kind of put yourself in that place, and you're like. Holy shit. Yeah. And it's hey, different. Clyde, have you been to Normandy? Have you seen the beaches? No. Nope. Like, do, did you do anything while you were in France? <laughs> no. no. Have the pigeon doesn't go to the beaches. Did you even France while you were in did France? You, like, are you even French, bro? <laughs> he's Canadian French. He's Quebecois French? He's not Canadian French. <laughs> no, he's the furthest from Canadian No, he goes, <laughs> he goes back so often that he gets to see it a lot. Mm. That's so he, he's good. That's what that about time. you? Did you answer? Um, yeah. where I would want to go, yeah. I think for me the next trip. Punjab. Sorry. Punjab. Punjab. No, only because back to the we, we, we've sold everything pretty much back home. All my family's here. I think we have a little bit of land that we're just trying to sell off now or some so, something like that. So it wouldn't be like I, I'm, my parents and my family's back. Like we're in the village. And in the village, there's nothing to really see there. I, I mean, I would love to see the rest of India, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that's on the top of my list. I think, I think it's Australia, mm -hmm. um, mm. and really just Australia. Eh? Yeah, I say Australia. Um, I think because for me, I don't want to just go travel. So it's funny because you two specifically, because I spent so much time with you guys, I know how much you guys have the travel bug, and it's kind of cool and. I've never really had that. I never really grew up with that. I never really had it. I could care, not that I could care less and not that it's a bad thing that like I envy you guys for it. Um, now I kind of have it because I want it. It needs to match what, I, what I'm doing, which is like I want to go speak at these places. And for me, Australia, as a kid, I bring back the risk board. So it shows. Well, you know, there was a strategy. If you take over Australia, like, do you start there? Do you start in North America? Like, what was your, can we Africa. talk about this? Actually, sure, for sure. So what I was always, your risk strategy? Always in Africa. Because Australia was too small for me to start at. Yeah. Right? Um, and Europe, Asia, too big. You were right in the middle of it. And I like from Africa. Europe. But no, because then I, I always liked my strategy was to go, because on the board Anyone you can go. Anyone else play Risk? Does anybody right? else play Risk? I have never played Risk. Oh, okay. Like, okay so never mind. Bad, bad topic. Bad, but like, no. Quick, we know this really well. It's not a bad topic yeah, yeah. because I've heard it's the greatest game ever. Well, it's well, world domination. World domination. Um, a last days at times. Days. Days. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. And there's a really cool Seinfeld twist into it. They um, played on the I don't the know if we can say that right now. <laughs> the country's oh, no, right. No, no, don't, don't, not no, a good no, time. No, Anyways, but Africa was good because then you could go through South America, yeah, up North America, yada, yada. Where would you start really quickly? I started often in South America. Got it. So for me, 
playing risk it's the furthest it's, that doesn't exist it's like in, it's okay. in risk australia was so far away and to just say that and i can if you, and you, the, your problem if you took australia you get extra points for having your own continent so yeah. that was good yes but the only way in and out of australia was through asia asia so that was bad because you could only start dominating asia you, you couldn't play? start dominating everywhere else yeah so um well, now that we know strategy. Clyde plays, if we get one more A little more give player, and take. A little give and take. We can have a game running. You played two? What was your okay. strategy? Where did you start? France. He always started in Europe. Europe? Yeah. I just, Actually, in, in fairness, I did do a lot of North America because I was like, Canada! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Canada's hard. Luchy North America's hard to start off. Can we do a we Jazz and Friends <laughs> with a game of we Risk? Learn. Or it's not enough time? It's no, like you don't know. Risk no. is a seven-hour hours, game. Hours, hours. You needed the rainiest day to join the game. So here's the thing. Me and you could play. You should, guys should play this weekend. <laughs> should I buy it? Oh my god! Should I buy it? I'm being dead serious. <laughs> Two of us can't play. How can I have never played a game that? No, oh, it's the loves? best game. Yeah. So you know what? I'm we'll getting it. Okay. So no, 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 no. Here's Tonight. What. No, listen to me. <laughs> what, what, way to the seafood expedite. place. What I will do. What I will do. <laughs> started at you the seafood me. place. You know me. <laughs> I know. Um, scallops. What we will do. <laughs> What we will, I'm surprised you haven't started playing that. Oh, no, never. Because you're never. a chess player. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, I, I am yeah. a chess player. So I got to be honest. Like, and I'll, yeah, look, I'll give the flowers. Well, I've seen get. you play chess. I, I like chess, and chess I play. Player. I'm not really that good, but I love the fucking game. So there's game. strategy, but there's also just luck of your dice roll, your die roll. Not in chess, son. Oh, not in chess. Oh, Sorry, well, I thought we were talking about yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I was always playing chess with dice. Yeah. And... In risk, yeah, there's obviously majority of it is probably luck yeah. than anything else. But fights break out. So oh, yeah. Big time. Big me, time. Mike, Navraj, all these guys, like my high school childhood friends, not high school friends. Childhood Would you call friends. that a posse? We used to call each other the posse, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. The with a capital T. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. For capital the, for, for the younger kids, that's capital what, that's, D. That's what da defines posse. cringe. Da posse. Da posse. Da posse. Hey, da posse. Da posse. That's what defines posse. cringe nowadays. Yeah, that is cringe. Yeah, it's good. Me saying well, either you're cringe or yeah, you have riz. <laughs> either you have riz or you're cringe. Sorry, skibbity what? Skibbity do. I like the skibbity. Uh, you have L riz, bro. Yeah, L riz. I don't know what the fuck does that mean. I'm just googling all of this shit. L riz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Skibbity <laughs> sigma. Yeah. Yeah. I have a child that's nine and a daughter that's eleven. Yeah. And if I see my daughter ever do <laughs> this one more oh time. My God. Yeah, well, when them no. two get together, it's a little. What does that mean? That's mewing. Yeah. yeah. Mewing. <laughs> but but this is the thing you don't need to know. Let it go. I don't care. World. I'm so Save glad. No, I'm saving you from. I'm just like oblivious, and no, it makes I'm me happy. A little too much. This is the the new stuff. Like our stuff. I didn't feel like no. It we was. were cringe too. Everybody, every no, everyone's no, we cringe were, all the time. Man. But I don't think we had as much because you didn't have access to as much. It's just a nasty level of cringe. <laughs> like, it's crazy. <laughs> What's the cringiest thing that you guys see in the younger generation now? Uh, and I say you all um, four of chin you. sashes. <laughs> <laughs> when they talk like your father. How long were you waiting for that, Elsa? <laughs> Yeah, the Toronto accent. Yeah, is Toronto. Toronto. I'm like, no yeah, one speaks like that. Chillax? No, no. Yeah, fam. Or you'd be like, trif okay, trifling's one thing. Like, yeah, but trifling I've heard before. Yeah, but it's like the. Yeah. It's the accent. It's the yeah. accent. No, the, the Toronto. The, the Toronto, Toronto accent boy is probably fam. the most disgusting. What's the Toronto accent? Oh, I'm going to find no. a video. What Don't are you talking about? Yeah, you've never been to Are we talking about like old school, like uh, no, no, Cardinalo no, Fischel? No, 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 no. This is like new young boy cringe. So this you went from kind of cool. This is 12 year old. and I go to bed at 8.15 and I'm a pig of shit. 18 year old. I'll just say it for what it is. Mm -mm. White 18 year olds from Vaughn mm. pretending to have a Jamaican street cred accent. It is the most repulsive, try hard thing I have ever witnessed in my life. It's next level and it's real and it exists and they're doing it. <laughs> so, like. And that's not <sighs> real, bud money. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Uh, Real you asked what the mind. objective of Jazz and Friends is? I it's to get cancelled it. on YouTube to say right. that I got cancelled on YouTube. Right, right, right. Okay. So keep going. No, but no, no, like no. It is, but it's so funny because it's like, okay, so I grew up in like Meadowville, but Mississauga Meadowville, not like Scarborough Meadowville. And like in our like community and groups, it's like we you know, I grew up saying like Wagwan. 
<laughs> or what a guan. Well, okay. And sure. I remember some people just like looked at me really weird, and they're yeah. like, "You can't say that." I'm like, "I grew up saying I that." I can because I lived in Scarborough for ten years, and that's all I said. Wait. Then that's what the current Scarborough people. It think. is not. Oh. It's like worse. Yeah. Not. It's not that we were ever it's not bad. A word or here. It's there. just horrible. It's like their full accent all the time. It's like Every kids from one. the boons talking with like a New York accent, and you're like not saying that's the case, but you're like. How's that possible? Yeah, right. you're like, it's not what authentic. Is it? Head t- head no. <laughs> but then again, it's like they can say the same stuff about us, right? Like however we talk, right? Hey, that's so it's like question though, Luke, I'm trying to think about like what the most cringe thing would be. I'm, I was trying to find the accent. Yeah. Yeah, I think the accent is a little off it's for pretty me. Cringe. I didn't yeah. even know this existed. It's incredible. No, if, it's, you, it's if, you, if you got through your Instagram, you would have seen someone imitate it 100%. No, my Instagram. Alto has burgers uh, my and Instagram fucking. My Instagram algorithm doesn't put that to yeah. me. It's she has uh, hamburgers no and deli sandwiches. Yeah, Let me guess in your Instagram yeah, algorithm. That is a lot of food. I'm really good at <laughs> food. A lot of food that I'll never cook, but then I like just salivate over. Do you yeah. know what somebody did to me the other day that oh, I found oh. fascinating? Oh. All right. I'm, I'm fucking fascinated. I, let's say I just met Laura. Do tell. Okay. I met Laura and Jazz for the first time. And they're like, oh, like, what's your Insta? Oh, I think Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on. It's a girl then. I'm, I'm assuming. It's a girl. It was. A guy and a girl. Two but people. Like, they weren't a couple. I mean, like, just people that I met. Called it, I don't know. It wasn't a cocktail party. What the fuck was it? it was, I don't know if it was a, a swingers party. Meeting. Swingers party. <laughs> Who's talking about? Swingers meeting. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that's not what you said? Oh, I, I carry on. I these two people, and we're there. I can't I'm wait till his wife beats you. There. She's going to beat the <laughs> shit out of you. I've met hey, her before. I'm She's phone, amazing. Phone in hand, yes. And they're like, I'm adding you on Insta. Laura, to no, you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting there on my phone. I'm adding Laura. Then I'm adding Jazz. Yes. Okay. Jazz adds me. Laura adds yes. me. We're all good. And the guy goes, not the not the female. The guy. So Jazz says, "Hey man, you give me your phone for one second. I was like, "Sure." He goes, "You know what's interesting about people is their feed. Oh, right? yes. their, not their feed. Oh, oh. Um, the for you page. The the explorer. Sorry, the yeah. explorer. Yeah, 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 yeah. He there. presses yeah. my search bar, and it's like all naked chicks. It is. It is not. Yeah, right. Uh, food. Okay. It's all food. It was just, so I guaranteed, like I never My even knew, chicks but I never even <laughs> thought of this. And of I'm this, confused. Doing this. But look, like you oh, go. Yeah, no. Oh, you're like. A, so you like people beating the shit out of each well, other. MMA. <laughs> Football. It's all MMA it's and all the odd MMA. food. <laughs> oh. Simo sends me real estate agent stuff, generally speaking. Yeah, see, food, yeah. like recipes. It has to be some real estate. And UFC. What a good man you are. But it's not a good man. Like, yeah. I never even thought. Like, no. this 100. fucking thing will that is show the... what you see. So when I when I speak on stage, that's what I say to people. I'm like, you want to know? Mike, if you want to get to know someone, Vince just Bob? open up their Explore play page. Look at that. Look at that. I got to excuse my yeah, Just open up their Explore page. You're about to find out you what the shit the... On the hey, stage. Mine, on the stage all the time. Naked chicks, and I'm like, who? Oh, pass me your phone. Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> so where do you do it? You hit this Let me button. Go through it. <laughs> now, see? see the problem with Mike's. Okay. Okay. The sex problem in the with city, Mike, food. The problem with my explore pages. Jennifer is Aniston. Seven fucking guys. Show it, coward. I will show it, coward. Let's, I need to preface it by saying, six, seven people have my account. So I don't know what the. I've All right, we're gonna blame the staff now for your <laughs> no, I'm weirdo. Just saying. Okay. Well, look, I see Seamus on my fucking page. No, that's not the search. That's the feed. <laughs> Go to search. Oh, Britney Spears is on my page. I Here. like that. That's cute. It's half of your shit that you send me, which I love. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, like, but that's all. Like, yeah, all normal so what, shit. What they expect this to is see? not accurate. Mine's not um, well, it's something you. degenerate. Yes. Yeah. So they were cutting What's me up as a degenerate to yeah. begin with? Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like who knows what people are gonna say? They mind like Brian Tracy, <laughs> because kid. See most where they get Anthony at Robbins. Like, if you're a married man and all you have is naked women on your Instagram, they're gonna think you're like you're weird. Because you would be a sleaze bag if that's what you're fucking doing on your Instagram. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, that's what they're getting at. All right. Well. Yeah. Anyways, I just that's found what that, that couple was getting at. Probably. Got it. Probably. I found that fascinating that somebody just did that. That's kind and of the fact. Like aggressive for someone that you just met to say, "Let no, me no, see your yeah. page." I'm not giving. Like, no offense. Like, don't. I never you don't saw do that. Just, That's like, like, let me see inside like your gonna, drawers when I look in in your like, house. You know what? Oh, like, let me, me see in your nightstand. Yeah. Or, or when you're the trying, equivalent of that. Or when you're trying to show a photo. That's private. You're trying to show a photo on your phone, and then they take the phone away, and then they start, and then they start scrolling. You know what we never thought about with Jasmine? This would happen. Yeah. Go buy just buy that I'm photo. I'm sweating. Yeah. And oh, you're talking the to the like producer. Like and they're like, oh, there's 600 selfies here. I'm like, what? 
I didn't do that. You're like, I took a picture of my weird mole. I am that basic. <laughs> well, I think this is it. That's what happens. Yeah, I'm over it. So Thank you guys. Simos isn't a creep, which shocks the shit out of me. Because in real life, he's a creep, but Instagram, Simos is not a creep. Yeah. So well, good it, for you. It, it really matters what you are like in IRL. Um, What's IRL? Well, that's a man. I'm fucking in, the fuck real, life. Life. in real life. In real life, I know that. That's cringe. Cheers. That's cringe. <laughs> we'll end it off there. Cheers to everyone. Thank you. I appreciate you guys joining me on Jazz and Friends. See you on the next episode. Thanks, Later. guys. Bye, guys.